Hey guys, here we are back in Darksiders 3. So yeah, this is the direction we need to go forward in, I think. Just gotta push this weird tentacle thingy all the way here. Luckily, it seems to like sort of move automatically. Oops. Just get on top of it. Because I think from here... Yeah, for sure. So like... Oh, I nearly fell off. That would that would have been so dumb. But something you kind of could expect from me. All right, cool. One on one, these things are okay. It's just that when it's not one on one, like it's gonna be like now. That didn't make any sense. That was so much damage. I'd rather not die here, so I'm gonna... Yes. I mean, I don't even know what I'm dodging, but I'm dodging shit. This fire form is actually super, super useful. Um, not be using it too much. And maybe that is a stupid thing to do. Like there's gonna be some more platforming here. Hello. Oh, this is a normal one. A non-corrupted one. Sick dodge by me. Man, I'm good at this game. I'm only kidding, of course. Oh, hello. No, you're not gonna. All right. I don't mind. He just like watched his body be slaughtered and just doesn't even give a shit. I mean, whatever. It's up to him, I guess. Yeah, we can swing cross. Oh, <laughs> I was pressing circle and I was like, why is it not switching? Okay, we're gonna go that way first. I feel like that might be a side area. In fact, it probably is. It's the fortification shard. Yeah, and that's where we were. I'm pretty sure. I think we're gonna get this upgrade, right? Eventually. It's gonna let us bust these purple-ish walls. Guessing it's tied to... Some sort of... Well, actually, no, we've busted them before. But you know how we got a uh, method to break the fire or the spider webs? You know, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Oh, this is the person. Yeah. All right, chill out. Very convenient teleporter. Oops. Well, actually, this form probably has its... Nah. <laughs> I was gonna say. This form probably has its uses. Oh, hello. Can you, like... I have to switch, don't I? Where are the bugs? Right, you're coming with me. Oops. Eat that weird purple shit. I thought I killed it. I was like, damn. Purple potato. Have you guys ever had a purple potato? I have. I mean... Only problem with them is... is They're basically regular potatoes except purple. So... Really, if you don't eat them, or you never eat them... Uh, you ain't missing out on much, but... It is a trip the first time you see them. Purple pota potatoes. Nice, too. We'll go play baseball with that arm. <clears throat> so that's one path, but I'm gonna... Gonna unlock the other path as well. So I'm guessing probably we're not gonna get a way to... Break these walls naturally, right? Oh, shit. Okay, it's like here and then chuck it. 
Yeah. And no problem, no problem. <clears throat> These ones seem to explode a little bit slower than the fire ones. The more annoying thing is having to wait for one of these things to spawn. Oh wait, you can get it to come after you, can't you? I fucked. <laughs> Man, I had the right idea, but... Incorrect execution, you know. I'm gonna have to... Oh, hello. Yeah, we'll use a small healing charge. Since we have six of them. We're gonna be here a while. I just jump and chuck. God damn it. Can you not? Hmm. Maybe you gotta go on top of this, but no. I'm not gonna waste too much time here. Oh, wait. You know, maybe there is another chance, possibility. Could be that I'm overthinking it and there is another way. Or it could be that there is not. Yeah, that's for sure where we gotta go. Alright, never mind then. This is just a shortcut, ain't it? We've been here before. Oh, it's probably too... Yeah, I know why it's there. Yeah, they explode. Cool. Oh, come on, just spawn one. Jeez. There we go. I swear I had... I found a way to get them to come after me. Just don't remember how. If you hit them, they blow up. I can for sure do this, though. For sure throw him over. Fuck. Man, this is annoying. You could throw it from here. Alright. Well, this is not working out. <clears throat> oh. That would have been... If that, would have, if that was the solution, I think I actually would have quit this game. So, like, here... Jump and throw. God damn it, you cannot do that, can you? Must be some other solution. I'll try throwing it over. So it does, you can do it. Only question is... How? How do I get this thing? Oh, wait, you cannot double jump. Shit. I had another idea. <laughs> Look at that thing go. Which was to um, jump over. Man, okay, this is... I'm a little bit worried here. That I'm missing something like really, really obvious. And this is gonna make me look like an idiot. Not that I already haven't looked like an idiot throughout this playthrough sometimes. But still. I can't jump off. There's no way there's gonna be enough time to do that. There we go. Nice, Sue. It was the solution, I was just not skilled enough. Oh, hello. It's just an angelic artifact. Wonderful. Alright then. Well, we have an even bigger problem then. Where the boy has no fucking clue where to go to now. Wait. There's no way that was just a side area, was it? Oh, hello. Oh yeah, she can swim, but how do you go under? God, and this is so crazy. Swimming in a Darksiders game? That is insane. How do I surface? Um. Oh, X. I don't know why I didn't choose X. 
I mean, it's kind of obvious. It's a nice touch, though, that the fire goes out. There's no way you can float across. There's a hole. I saw it. You gotta get, like, way up top. Just trying to see if these two buildings connect somehow. They do. It's just the thing is... Huh. Well, here is Mr. Sketchhead failing at Darksiders 3. Unless, again, he's missing something really obvious. Probably a path he did not explore. It's looking like it. Could it be? Hmm. I thought you were gonna have to like jump from somewhere. Just break all the barrels as revenge. Oh, can you just like, can you just like press the switch? Thanks. Because my thought process would be to go. There's no way. It's too high up. Oh, it's literally just this. Well, I ran around like an idiot for a long time. I overthought that. Are we gonna kill some angels? I think we're gonna kill some angels. You know what would be really, really nice right about here? A fucking checkpoint. I would so appreciate that. I'm gonna have to use another one. I feel like there's gonna be a big ass battle here. Although, to be fair, it's not been too long. What up, boys? There's a big ass like a good. I hate I didn't exactly make the best first impression by immediately getting hit. Yeah, I saw the big ass like Angel Prime or whatever. That one's gonna kick my ass, isn't it? These ones actually stun though, that's the nice thing. A lot of the other enemies tend to not like be any in any way affected by my attacks. And then they just straight up go through everything. Angelic champion. Papa Heal, Papa John's. I'm gonna do this to heal. I don't know if you have different combos here, but yeah. I don't think you want to be hit by that. Fairly easy to dodge though. Except that. Man, I didn't do as bad as I thought I would. Alright, that's cool though, that's cool. Not too terrible of a bomb. I was expecting worse, if I'm gonna be honest with you. When is the last checkpoint? It's been a while, hasn't it? 
Yeah, it's been a while. Maybe I missed one. I don't know. Fairly sure I didn't. Because I ran around like an asshole in that building for a long time. And this is taking a long time to load. Oh, come on. Seriously, all the way back here. My question is... Can we use the distraction? It appears that I can, which is nice. Ooh. Why does the, keep, the game keep freezing here? I have no idea. Don't ask me. Okay, they're still busy. Which is good. Are you fucking... There's some top tier platforming by me. It's gonna be one of those days, right? Please tell me this fucking Chimera sound. Oh, it does respawn. I wasn't expecting that, let me tell you. Oh, it gotta load again? Yeah, fuck that thing. It's gonna like... Cause me to use up all my Nephilim respite. They're not gonna let me run back here, right? Oh, I missed it? Would be great if the game wasn't freezing. Oh wait, didn't I have an item? Undying shard, yeah. I thought that was automatic. Uh, apparently it's not. Well, that's shitty. Alright. Question is, should I pop it? A Nephilim Respite. Oh, there's a cooldown on all of them. Now that I didn't know. I thought it was only like one category of items. I think I might pop a fortification shard once the big guy rolls around. Just maybe. God damn, like, how many fucking times does this game have to load? Here, we gotta, gotta fight the schmucks again. These guys are bitches. Maybe they're not. God. Alright, I think we're gonna have the few... The first annoying boss fight of this game. As in, I'm talking about the run back. I will do it one more on screen and then we're going to start editing because me, aside from me failing on the jumps, this is kind of annoying with the 50 million load times in between. This takes a shit ton to load as well. There's just a lot of loading in this game. It's funny, like, there are so many things that go into a Souls game or having a good Souls clone. And even stuff like this, even, like, you gotta consider the fact that you gotta have good run backs and bearable load times. Because in a game that involves dying so much, you know, those are factors. And I'm, again, I'm not shitting on this game for it, it's just... Just, you know, when you think about how many things there are to consider. That's why some of these games, like, for example, Super Meat Boy is very, very good at that. Just, like, instant, instant respawn. And then it's not even... 
you know, you don't even care if you're dying 60, 70 times on a level as you tend to do in that game. Because apparently I'm going to miss the first jump every single time. Can you like not load? Here we go. <clears throat> I'm gonna try the fire weapon that time. I failed super hard with this boss in the last set. I mean, I didn't even get to the boss itself, which is embarrassing. Probably this game does run better on PC, doesn't it? Cannot be this many load times there. Wait, is this game out on PC? Or is this for console peasants only? Yeah, eat shit angels. I said angels there weirdly. Never mind that. Yeah, when they surround you like this, it's a problem. They're very slippery. damage. He's like literally taking no damage. Holy shit. Pretty sure I had the counter there. The fuck. Oh man, this is gonna be a pain. This is gonna be a pain, I can already tell. I'm just having a look around here because I cannot believe that there is no checkpoint here. This round back seems kind of dickish. So, you know, my my spider senses are tingling, but it appears my spider senses are wrong this time around. I just got to do this boss. A proper wrath shard. That was not it. That was not a wrath shard. All right. I, is this the take more damage, deal more damage thing? It's kind of what I don't want. I don't need to take more damage, boys. Maybe it's easier to just target one. I swear I'm not getting hit on purpose here. On your bitch. This guy takes no damage. That was a safety heal. You 
Cool. Bob this. Giving out these magic thingies. Like all hell. Like really afraid he's gonna become super aggressive and do something crazy. Heal. Cool. Cool. All right, that was a pain. Oh shit! Your rage is misplaced, Torsten. I sincerely doubt it, Bird. Ucil. Holy shit! Here to finish the job your brother War began. I have no idea what War did or did not do, nor do I care. So you are here to steal the souls. Of Damn, this guy looks badass. You think I don't League of Legends. Another task consumes me. Betrayal by your glorious kingdom. She is so pissed every single time. Look upon my works, ye mighty, and laugh. We can hardly defend ourselves, let alone spare the energy to portray a great horse. My steed, Rampage, was slaughtered by angelic weaponry before I could summon him to earth. I will know why, and I will have. Take me at my word. I have no love for the horsemen. Thanks to you, the apocalypse is at hand. And we... Uh, I have no knowledge of any conspiracy against you. Or your mission on Earth. What is that thing he's carrying? Is that a bell? Lucille is honorable. Just because he doesn't know doesn't mean it's not happening. As you can see, I have problems of my own. Perhaps... We can strike a deal, Horseman. Straight up a League of Legends character, I swear. Or Diablo as well. Lately, I have seen my own forces ravaged. Losing more and more every day. To my horror, I have learned that my brethren are being murdered by our nightmares made real. Abominations. Undead angels. Demons are also its target. Taking them into the realm of the undead as well. And who, in your estimation, is responsible? How did she get left behind that much? The only force in the universe capable of such a heretical act is lust. Lust? You're insane. I've crossed paths with lust before. They have no such power. <laughs> and what makes you think that the world as you've known it is the world we're now in? An unnamed demon is rumored to have bestowed upon lust the very power to take on the forces of heaven and hell. A spoiler in the apocalypse. Thus transforms angel and demon alike into the undead. Mindless things. Bent only on violence and destruction. So we know who's next. It's Lust. And so if I eliminate Lust, thus solving your dilemma, you will in turn provide something for me. Is that the deal you propose? Indeed. If it be in my power. And to prove we mean no ill will towards you, Horseman. They're gonna give me a gun. That's what I'm missing in this game so far. Yes. Well Unchecked. Find out who tried to kill me. In exchange, I will force lust to reveal the source of their power before I destroy them. We have a pact. If I discover you have in any way lied to me, you will wish it was one of my brothers tearing out your heart. Hmm, charming. Alright, salvation. 
Yes, this looks like a gun to me, sort of. With with a hollow equipped. Uh, holding R2 will in blue. Okay. All right. New puzzle opportunities. Do not expect the angels to trust you. No problem. There's gotta be a fucking checkpoint here somewhere. Do not expect the angels. Our alliance is temporary, Forsman. All right. There's gotta be a Volgrim thingy somewhere. There's no way it ain't. Is this the dude we killed? No. It's an angelic artifact. So, like, what do I do with these angelic? <laughs> Sorry, I just bumped my head. What do I do with these angelic artifacts? Um, because from what I saw, can't really do much, can I? Just having a look around, because there is shit like this here. Adamantine. I gotta upgrade my weapon. Cool, cool story, bruh. But this is the first Darksiders where... Oh no, we've fought angels before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like even uncorrupted ones, just like normal box standard ones. Perhaps your threat will keep him in line. Doubtful. Would you trust him? I'm not the one that has to. Also, trust isn't part of a Watcher's vocabulary. Present company included, of course. Alright, there it is. That's what I've been looking for. Oh, hello, Fury. You're looking radiant. This is definitely not the old voice for him, right? No, no. Oh. You are a very busy horseman with people to go and play. Accidentally skipped that. An artifact. What does it look like? Well, it's a trinket, really. A novelty crafted by the birds. Sort of a cross with pointy edges. And... I may there it is. It's not a trinket. But please cut me a break. The demon has to eat. I found it. It's mine. I'll pay you a million souls for it. Souls are your currency. Sharp objects are mine. No deal. However, you might be of service to me. Have you seen the undead angels and demons? Ah, the unlike. Sadly, yes. Those who were once beyond mortality deserve better. Now, I have no lost love for the birds, but that's just wrong. We're done then. If you hear anything, do let me know. Does nothing shake? Do you not feel any empathy watching those who once loomed so large robbed of the very force they sought to control? Life. Shane looked like the type. Why they're trying to kill me, I'll make time to feel sorry for them. My, my, she's cold. Intoxicating. What a hot headed demon that is. Man, there's some kinky shit in this game. <laughs> Even Volgrim. Uh, how are these both costing the same? Oh, it's like Devil May Cry, where they go up in price. This will be fun for both of us. All right, I'm gonna see if I can, yeah, Maker's Forge, because I want to see if I can upgrade my weapon. I have artifacts, so not artifacts. Um. Adamantium. You know what I'm talking about. And then we'll see where we can proceed from here. And that boss was kind of frustrating, the angel guy. Thankfully, I figured it out. <clears throat> it's not even him, it was the run back. But hey, we're past that. And that's all that matters. He's just hammering away at that whatever. 
What is he doing? What do you need? Upgrade weapon, barbs of scorn. Hold on. Seriously, I only have one. Jeez. I honestly thought I had more. I can't get this though. Huh. Let's do it. Let's do it. I really thought I had more upgrade materials. It's all good though. What have I been picking up? Let's see. Consumable. There we go. Let's use them all. Oh, that's 10,000 souls. Maybe I can buy enough adamantine. Because this fool sells it. Uh, does he not? Yes, he does. One, two, three, four, and five. I want to get the barbs of scorn. You know what? Let's get a couple more. An excellent choice. Let's get three more. And then the rest we can feed to him. Well, not all of it because I have a feeling that I think upgrading weapons costs souls. Right? I'm upgrading the barbs of scorn so much because it's my main weapon, so... Uh, you know, you gotta focus on your main weapon. And Lance, let's get this one as well. I'm liking this. So no gun, but this will serve its purpose. I was the fan of the gun though. But there, then again, there's only two, so you know. As you wish, it makes sense to have a third one. Um, I'm guessing it's this one. Yeah, it's weird that it's placed in the middle. Maybe that's just how the area kind of links together. So lost. It's gonna be some kinky shit. It's already full of it, this game. I will go on for a little bit. I do have quite a bit of stuff to cut out. Well, not quite a bit, but a little bit. This thing ever decides to... There we go. So you just have to talk to it. Plus L3. Okay, L2 to tag targets. Can tag up to four, I think. Okay, that's cool. Of course. Gonna be not as effective as close combat. Where's the thing that's summoning it? And that's how you get it for electricity. So I think I'm, I'm assuming this will be more for like... Puzzle solving. That was a long ass wind up. These guys love their wind-ups. Come over here. Charge. That charge is working out pretty well, because it can... Even when they're blocking, it goes through them. Man, this thing has a lot of HP. 
Must be their leader. I'm only kidding. How do I have zero? Nef oh yeah, because this game is this game, and um, yeah, yeah, I, I got it. And resting with Volgrim or teleporting does not actually refill your uh, charges for your healing item, which is kind of weird. Not gonna lie, because again, if people have pointed out before, I've saw it in videos about this game where basically, if you want to be optimal, you teleport. And then what you do is you find the nearest enemy and just let him kill you. As I've done not on purpose right now. And then you'll get your charges back. Which, you know, it would make more sense to just give you your charges. Because uh, the places where Volgrim is are infrequent enough. It's not like you're drowning in them and you never run out of healing items. Whatever. And again, I'm not like purposely shitting on this game. I'm enjoying this game a lot. Just that, you know, there are some, as with any game, even Dark Souls 1, even Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, there are some interesting design decisions, even Bloodborne, which is, like, these are some of my favorite games and they have weird stuff in them as well. No game doesn't. That is satisfying. It lights them on fire too. Where did you come from? He just died to the fire. All right. That's pretty good. I do like my environmental kills. Alright, first of all, I gotta get my souls back, even though it wasn't a ton. Oh, nice, Sue. That's very convenient. Come on. Get into this weird. Green butt hash. Oh, well, you're, you're dead. So never mind. I set you on fire. Oh, just wonderful. I wanted to fight two of you at the same time. Cool. Wait, holy shit, he died? I was like, man, how funny it would be if he died from that? And he really did. Please don't tell me I can fall into it. Usually it how, it's how it goes, though. Alright, no, 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 they can as well. Then it's okay. If we both can, <clears throat> no problems. If only they can... Or I can. Well, if only they can, I'll take that any single day. Obscurus Enhancement. Enhancement can be socketed into the weapon from your weapon inventory. Active benefit. And passive benefit. Nice, so. Which one am I using the most? Salvation. Plus 10% Havoc generated. Plus 8.3 Invade Invincibility Window. Alright, I am taking that. I'll take that any single day. Damn. It does auto target though, so that's good. Oh, okay, I got it. I got this weird chimera thing to fight, which I hate these things.
You know what? A lot of HP too, but it seems to be weak to Thunder. Or just Dispel. Which, I'll take either. So can you? Because there was a weapon like this in... Darksiders 1 as well. And you could... Like, transfer properties to it. <clears> hmm. <throat> I guess you can kind of do it here as well. Due to the... The hollow stuff. There's some cool puzzles with that. In the OG Darksiders. Yeah, don't you dare fall off. And all that work to get to the other side. Yeah, 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 I got you, boys. I got you. Oh. And again, I'll be honest with you, I do like these types of weapons that you can get creative with. Although, that might have been a bad idea. <laughs> Alright. And I still got the drop on them. I assume they're trying to get the drop on me. But maybe I shouldn't have locked onto this many. I mean, this is the first time I feel like I've leveled up to a point where I feel like decently powerful compared to the enemies. Did he just dodge that? I think he just did. That has nowhere near as much range as I thought. Please die to the fire, or you can die to me as well. Do that. I saw him, I, I just didn't think he'd get it this quickly. Alright. Can you die? Thank you. Still doing well. Still doing well. Fairly. Fairly decently. Oh, what the hell? Ah, uh, it's that thing. But see, I'm bothered more about there being kind of an extra little area in here. Which I cannot seem to be able to access. Maybe you're going from the back. <clears throat> Alright, let me pop a small healing. And let's see what happened here in this little engagement. It killed it. Wow. That's such a long wind up. Exactly what I'm thinking. Took the words out of my mouth, Fury. Havel monsters are never fun to fight. Cause all they do is turtle. Fucking Havel monsters. Always a problem. Oh, these are docks. Man, this is a nice environment. I'm liking these environments a little bit more than... Okay. Can already see some... Puzzle potential. Can you tag? Yes. Hey, that gave me a healing item. Motherfucker. I took probably way more damage than I should have. Never mind.
There's for sure gonna be. Let me see. There's gonna be a third hollow, right? I can guarantee you. It's gonna allow us to break that. If there isn't, I'm gonna eat my hat. Where did that expression even come from? Eat my hat. It's a weird one for sure. Alright, if I had to guess, we're gonna probably have to finesse that thing out of there with this, with my ranged weapon. However, there is another Volgrim thingy here, which I will take. What would you ask of this? Let's get another level. And we'll see what we can get. We have one. Wait, did I not use an attribute point? No, <laughs> so stupid. I just got one. Yeah, ignore that. Ignore what I just said. Did not mean to do that. What I did mean to do is say that I'm going to start wrapping this episode up here. Uh, Alright, there is a... There's a side path. Which, there's probably other places you got to go as well. The pointer seems to be not pointing this way. Alright, but still, we'll have a look next time around. So for now, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Holy shit, that thing is going crazy. Uh, thanks for watching this episode of Darksiders 3, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.